Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at installing Arch Linux, the June 1st edition of 2023. So, let's get into the video. Now, I've done a few videos on this in the past, and I thought I'll do another one again because you guys really can't get enough of it, and I'm more than happy to oblige. So, we have our, Linux, our Arch Linux uh, ISO here. It has just been downloaded from the torrent well i've just torrented it and it is the june uh, june 1st edition we're currently on june the third so it is not old at all so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up disk space making the user going through the usual processes on the such to make sure it's all good and as we can see here we are on the linux kernel version 6.3.5 Arch 1-1. So, first thing we need to do is check to see if this has access to the internet, which it does, uh, with an average ping time of 13.5. We call that good. Next thing we need to do, list the block type. We, as we can see here, we have loop, SR0, so disk drive, and VDA, or virtual disk, which is what I'll be using. Once we've done that, we want to do uh, CF disk, so CF disk. This then brings us up. We'll be using the DOS label type. Because this disk is less than two terabytes in size, we do not, GPT is not recommended. We can use it, but it's, we're going to be using DOS in this case. And we have to split this one part, this one drive into two separate partitions. The first being the boot partition. Sorry about that. First being boot partition of 128 megabytes or maybe bytes, but 128M, hit enter, primary, and then press B on your keyboard. Or make it, sorry, bootable. So as we can see here, there's a star on it. You press B or go to bootable, it changes it. The next thing we want to do is we want to do new, that, primary, all the way through and done. Now we want to select right. Yes, because if you don't type yes, it's not going to work. That's now been done. The partition table has been altered. This is good. Now we want to do quit. Clear the screen and list the block types again. As we can see here, we have two 128 megabytes and 29.9, which is what we want. Next thing we want to do is want to try and see if we can't Increase the size of the screen, which we can't, which is unfortunate. Now, once we've done that, we want to make our file systems. So in this case, we're going to be using the ext4 file system. So to do that, we're going to do makefs.ext4 slash dev slash vda1 and vda2. In your case, it may be sda or something else, but because this is a Vert Manager Virtual Machine, it'll only be VDA for me anyway. Again, it could be different for you. Once we've done that, we want to mount the drives, and to do that, it's just mount slash dev slash VDA2 MNT. Uh, make directory slash oops, hello. Make directory slash MNT slash boot and mount slash dev slash VDA1 uh, to MNT boot and list the block type. So we want VDA2 to be mount, VDA1 to be mount boot, and that is set up correctly, which is what we want. Now here comes the magic source. This is the downloading and the everything that's needed for the operating system. So what we want to do is pack strap slash mnt base base devel linux linux firmware and vim now what this will do this will then pull down everything but what we want to do first is do open la and ideally we would be going into uh, packstrap so So we need to go, if I remember correctly, 
because it's been a while, so we want to do CD var. Oh, bear with me whilst I try and find it. So where we need to be going is to actually etc. So we want to do CD slash etc. And we want pacman.conf. So we just do vim slash pacman.conf. And what we want to do is we want to find the parallel downloads. So in this case, it is here. And I'm just going to give that a 20. In my case, it's fine to do so. So control C, uh, colon, right, right, quit. Right, quit. Uh, we'll get there eventually. So once we've done that, we want to come back to the patch command. That'll then go through, and what this will do is it'll then download 10 things at a time. Well, sorry, 20 things as I said, that's 20. Now, again, this shouldn't take too long because I've got a decent in internet speed, it's just waiting for the server side connections. So, whilst you're watching this, maybe consider giving that like button a click as well as that subscribe button. And if you do have watched me in the past, just make sure that YouTube hasn't unsubscribed you because, well, it's YouTube chances are they've unsubscribed you if you've watched in the past but hello if you're new um don't worry the uh, parallel downloads will carry on through to your install this is what i like you say hey look i want however many it's fine so instead of just downloading one item at a time and it taking an age you've got straight through no bothers it is also dependent on your hardware specifications as well as your internet connection because I've got a decent internet connection I'm quite happy to run it so what what this is doing here is just doing all that's needed it's fine saying hey look possibly missing firmware for this particular module that's fine it's most likely from what I can see network drivers based off the uh, funky names but that's now done. It took a total of one minute and 23 seconds, which is not bad considering it's now installed everything we need. Once we've done that, we now want to generate a FS tab file. So to do that, we do gen, first off CD, uh, gen file system tab using capital or dash capital U that will then say do it with the UUID and slash mnt um bear with me oh, i've got my notes wrong as it turns out i do have my notes correctly i was just having a dumb so again back to the gen fs tab file so capital u will then use the uuid identifier of the drives meaning that every time you boot up it'll say can i have these ids for this and then i'll go yes you can and then it'll work which is what you want so arrow arrow into mnt slash etc slash fs tab no errors is good happy with that once we've done that we want to do arch true root so arch height uh, dash true root as uh, slash mnt space slash bin bash now that we have left the ISO installer, we're currently in the ATuber environment. So what we need to do is install the network manager and grub. So to do that, it is just pacman uh, dash capital S for that. And then it is network manager and grub. Yes, proceed with the installation. Now, this currently doesn't have hold of my parallel downloads with Pac-Man. That's fine. Again, didn't take too long at all, so I'm, I've got no issue with it. Now we need to enable Network Manager. So you may have seen here that we was lowercase network, no, lowercase n, lowercase m, the Network Manager, because it is a process, it needs the capitalization, otherwise it won't work. So we just want to do system, ctl enable, Network Manager in all caps. Well, not in all caps, but capitalized for the words, as we can see. Gone through and created everything it needs, which I'm happy with. 
Now we need to do grub install, so grub install slash dev slash VDA. That's now going through and installing it. No errors reported. Everything's good. Now we want to make that grub config. So to do that, it's just grub hyphen make config dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub cfg grub config. No errors reported is good, which is good. OS probably will not be de detected. That's fine. We don't care about that. This has been generated without any errors. Next, what we want to do is we want to create passwd for Arch. Sorry, passwd password. I'm just going to call it Arch. Get it over and done with. Now we need to create our locales file. So first things first is we need to do vim slash etc slash locale dot gen and we need to find the keyboard type that applies to us so for me it will be a eng en underscore gb dot utf8 or 88591 i remember that from doing my linux and scratch series oh boy so in this case it's just 8859-1 or utf8 utf8 now this is good this is fine it's both the standards i'm happy with that I want to right quit with the exclamation mark. It says force it, don't ask me. I know what I'm doing. Problem solved. Now we want to do clear and we want to locale gen. So in this case, it's just locale gen. So it generates a locale as it's only looking for two. Problem solved. Your locale will, will vary. So now that we've done that, we need to give it a host name. So in this case, it's just going to be vim slash etc slash host name and we're just going to be called arch so insert arch control c right quit problem solved because it didn't have one before it does now so once we've done that we need to give it a time zone now for me it'll be uh, london or lisbon because gmt so ln so ln dash sf slash user share zone Europe. Oh, hang on. E R P E E U. Oh, hello. Help, help if I could spell. E U R O Europe slash London slash ETC slash local time. It didn't chuck an error, so that's good. We'll take that. Exit. And now what we want to do is unmount recursively. So U, I'm oh, sorry, unmount hyphen R or recursively slash MNT. And yes. Unmount new mount, it'll be fine. And what we want to do now is just reboot the system. And what this will do is it then says, hey, look, get rid of that. Come back. And what we have here is the Linux, the Arch Linux install we have just installed. Now, there were a few errors here. It's errors anybody could make. And it also would help if I consulted my own notes correctly, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But here we are. So if we do uh, Pacman hyphen s neofetch. Yes, proceed with the installation. And problem solved, just neofetch. As we can see here, this is what I'm running with. Currently outputting a 768 with 8, uh, eight Gibby bytes worth of RAM. Isn't it bothers? And we want to just do vim slash etc slash pacman dot conf. Come down to parallel downloads and just give this a quick tweak and just say 20 not well there we go so control c right quit problem solved and there we have it that is how to install arch linux in a slow and methodical way I'm just giving a detailed explanation for it it really is just that fast so I would like to thank you very much for watching.
If you liked the video, consider clicking the like button. If you disliked it, that one's also there as well. Uh, you may only be, you may only be able to see the like button, but I can see both of them. And I'd like to thank you for it. Anyway, I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And goodbye.